If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel to grow. Uh, more importantly, please enjoy. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs and today we're going to be ranking all the new home jerseys for the 2020 season. So let's get into it. Now, number 11 and bottom of the pile is the Dundalk home um, kit. Um, they might be the best team in the country, but they're getting ranked bottom of the, the kits for this season. Um, as you can see up on the screen, it looks like a t-shirt, in my opinion. It also looks like um, a former Bohemians jersey as well. There's not much difference of an Umbro or the Makers. And it just looks um, cheap. I'm not very cheerful, does it? Dundalk's kit last season was very nice, which probably doesn't help the situation either. Um, with this one, so... You know, I think ultimately looking at it, it's got that obviously the yellow and black kind of stripe across it, which doesn't do a lot for, for me personally. I don't know. Um, you know, it's uh, it's obviously white, but it looks like it's on on some kind of a, on a pennies t shirt or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, it's got that look about it, the the, the white section on the jersey, and um, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be bottom of the list and. What do people think about that? Anyway, moving on to the next one. Now, the next one for me at number 10 is uh, Finn Harps. Um, it's obviously a blue kit, but it's got that, I don't know, kind of speckled whiteness in it as well. Um, it just doesn't do a lot for me. Um, you know, their kit generally is blue, but um, it does look a bit more white and blue as opposed to blue and white. So um, I'm not sure if Harps fans would like that or whatever, but um, it doesn't do an awful lot for me. I just don't like the, the speckled look of the, the front, as you can see there. It kind of goes blue at the sides, more so than white, and obviously the sleeves are blue and that kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but, um, yeah, you know, it's um, I suppose it's not traditional. They try to be a bit different with it, which is fair enough, but... Um, Generally, I'm a bit of a plain Jane, personally. I kind of like more traditional looks, and it probably takes away from the traditional look of the Finn Harps kid a little bit. For the, so, so for that reason, that comes in at number at number 10. Now, number 9 I've gone for is the St. Patrick's Athletic kit. Now, on the face of it, it's not a bad kit, but um, it's the fact is it's very similar to last season's kit, except you've got those kind of black, what they look like iron marks almost on, on the top of it. And I think they t they actually take away from it. So it's like last year's kit with that added. So it's a little bit lazy for me in that sense, um, which is why it loses positions or marks, if you like. Um, but um, it's technically not a bad kit. If it, if it was last season's kit, I thought was nice. But as I said, this season's is that kit basically adding those on. And I just think for that reason, it's a little bit lazy and I don't really like the marks to add to it. Um, they take away from it ultimately. So for that reason, the Pats home kit comes in at number nine. Now, number eight, I've gone for the, the Cork City jersey, actually. Um, this is where it starts to get a bit, a bit tricky because um, it's not a bad kit at all. Adidas are sort of kit makers here. Um, obviously green, as you can see, the neck is uh, V-shaped. Um, the collar can make a difference for me as well, actually, funnily enough. Um, the v neck, the V-shaped necks are okay. Um, you've got that speckle look on the side, um, which I'm not 100% sure about. Um, with the, the white on the top and the green on the bottom. And obviously you've got the uh, plain look, um, the green on the front of the jersey. And you've got the Adidas kind of stripes at the top. Again, not, not a bad kit. Just I rate the other kits a bit higher, I think. Um, that that was That's the main thing with it. It, it. I can take it or leave it, basically. It's one of those kits. So, um, yeah, Cork City and number eight. Now, number seven, I've gone for Waterford's uh, home kit. Um, it's actually, again, it's, it's not a bad one at all. It's just, uh, it probably loses a few marks because I prefer last season's Waterford one. Um, that's my personal view, anyway. Um, I do like that dark kind of shade with the, the kind of light stripes that you see um, in the kit. Um, at the top, though, you see where it gets a bit bright. I think they could have 
kept that going with that the the darkness basically i think it would have added a little bit more effect to it i think um i do prefer that kind of color it's not like the cork one where that's v-shaped it's kind of more of a rounded sh- shape uh well, it's not really a color but you know what i mean at the very top it's more of a rounded shape so i do like that uh, number six, yeah, I went for long for town. It's hard to get a proper image of this jersey. Uh, this one's the best I can get, but um, it does remind me of that um, kind of classic AC Milan kit, which I really like. Um, it's simple, but it's very effective. It's got the black and red stripes, um, and the back look, does look nice, actually, on that as well, to be fair. So, um, yeah, it just reminds me of that classic Milan jersey and um for that reason i actually I really like the longford one and uh simple but deadly really so i'm gonna put the longford one at number six five have gone for into the top five now bray wonders uh new kit um this kit basically is similar to last season's but is an upgrade in my view it still has your white and green stripes coming down which i like but uh the crest has returned to the um the left-hand side of the chest as opposed to the middle. I also like what's going on around the shoulders and the collar. I like that style of collar again, and it's got a nice little gold and, and green kind of stripe on it. Um, I like the way the shoulders are white with that green hoop near the bottom. So um, all in all, I think the Umber have actually done a very good job in this kit, and it's similar to last season's, but just simply better. Um, and it's definitely a nice kid makes the top five. So that's Bray Wonders. Coming in at number four is the Shamrock Rovers home kit. Um, as you can see, it's got the white and green uh, hoops. Um, in a more traditional look this time, Umbra have done a good job on this. It has got a bit of, you can kind of see a bit of grey speckle inside the white, which I kind of like a little bit. Um, so it's a modern uh, traditional look, really. Um, I do like the way the what they call the shoulders are green and you've got that little bit of white trim just at the bottom of it so i like the traditional look um and i like those little gray specks um on the kit uh collar i like the the design of the collar as well so um yeah i think shamrock rovers coming in at number four now coming in at number three is the the shelburne home kit and this is an interesting one because when i first seen it i actually didn't really like it which is interesting um, but I've warmed to it. I think it's based on a 1960s or 70s uh, um, kit. Shelburne fans w- would know that themselves. Um, I just thought when I seen it initially, it looked like a rugby jersey. It, it still does, I suppose, because you know the old kits are traditionally that way as well. But at the same time, the more I've seen it, the more I like it. Um, what do I like about it? The collar for a start, actually. I do like, in fairness, that kind of collar, probably more than any other collar where you can... You know, we could do an Eric Cantona job on it and stick it up. Um, it's it's plain, but it's a good plain. Uh, Umbro done a good job in that sense. It's interesting that, you know, it's the one that's warm the most for me. But uh, I also like the trim at the bottom, the way you have the white, but the half red, half white kind of trim on it. Um, the crest is obviously to the left of the the kit where, where they should be. So, yeah, very traditional literally it is traditional um and it's just interesting how i didn't like it at the start but now it's made the top three so shelburne in at number three and number two i've gone for the bohemians home kit um it's fairly similar to the longford one the only main difference for me is on this particular one i like the gold the the gold trim and the gold um the gold on the sponsor and on the um the crest make a difference for me and just make it stand out just a touch more and um o'neill's made this one i like the stripes down the side of the shoulder as well that come up to the uh to the neck basically um so yeah like you know you could say there's not much between that and the longford one they're the same colors etc etc it depends whether you like the gold or not whether that adds to it or takes away for from it for me it adds to it um so for that reason i'm going to throw the bohemians one at number two now coming in at number one of my favorite jersey new jersey for the 2020 season is also made by umbro and it's the draw of the united home kit 
Now, I love that kind of um, claret and blue color. So that's one thing I'll get out of the way first. I do like claret and blue. So it's a case of you either like claret or blue, it's going to rate high in your rankings. If you don't, it's going to rate low in your rankings. As simple as that. But aside from that, I like what's going on with it. Um, I like what they've done. They've kind of got a bit of gold trim coming up in the shoulder there, just a subtle bit of gold trim and on the collar mixed with the claret and blue. I like that. Uh, the shoulders, I like that light blue in the shoulders, but also like the gold and the claret trim down the at the end of the the show at the end of the shoulders there, coming down towards the arms. Um, I like also if you look carefully, I don't know if you can see it, but they do have the the crest kind of engraved into the the shirt itself, um, and I I like that as well. Um, the crest is where it should be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, overall, yeah, I think it's a very very nice kit and. For me, it makes number one, particularly because I love the, the colours, but um, they've done a good job all around, I think, and it's an excellent looking kit, and it's nice to see Drotted back to Claret and Blue. I didn't like the red at all that they had previously. That's my pick for the top jerseys uh, for 2020. Uh, all new kits, obviously, I've only counted new home kits in this list. So, um, yeah, what do you think? What's your favourite kit? What's your top three, maybe? What do you really not like? And um, Obviously... I don't think anyone will probably agree with the order. Everyone will have their own order. So uh, it'd be interesting to hear from your order or even your top three kits, as I said before. That's about it, guys, and I'll see you again. Take it easy. Good luck. Bye-bye.